Welcome guys to Born Again and after six months of eating totally clean and training loads I've had one week where I've cheated and really very properly eating what 90% of the western population eat and that is junk. Here in London and UK it's the 2nd of November and I can really feel winter. I've been buying fruit melons and like bananas and they just aren't as ripe or as tasty now that it's cold like they used to be and to be honest I'm not having the appetite for it as I used to to be perfectly honest. The days are shorter, days are greyer and to be fair what you really crave is something kind of warm, baked, hot as opposed to something ice chilled and sweet. I mean a smoothie is, is ideal when it's really hot and you're cooling yourself down isn't it? Because for the last six months I've been getting most of my calories just from fruit about two thirds easily. And the rest of my calories I've been getting from steamed fish and vegetables, light soup and nuts. After like the six months of huge improvement in my body, I wanted to see if normal food agreed with me or if it didn't. And the answer is it didn't at all. It's almost like a refocus for why I started and why I'm gonna carry on to the mission that is perfect health and saying bye bye to Crohn's. So like basically I just want to quickly go through the observations of what I've kind of experienced. Eating food like this, pizza, this is like Polish sweet bread, white chocolate chip cookies. I even had a few of these glucose sweets. These are actually disgusting <laughs> and water. To tell you the truth it's not like I don't know what normal food tastes like. I mean I used to eat it for most of my life and it does taste nice. It's very satisfying in the moment, obviously after you feel shit. I used to really love white chocolate, but it's basically just dairy, fat and sugar. I used to love pizza, especially sourdough Italian thin crust. Mm -hmm. If I had to do eating challenges of normal food on this channel, I think I would die if I had to do it long term. Okay, it, it passed the taste test. It tastes really manufactured. I mean, come on, all this food has loads of lab technicians spending hours and hours and thousands and thousands of pounds to make the food taste so palatable that you come back to it like a drug. Whenever mum used to buy sweets when we were a kid on the Sunday, the Sunday evening all the sweets would always be finished the same day. <laughs> the texture is, I, I don't like it to be honest, it's rather sweet, I mean that's the only good thing. Having Crohn's, the main observation I get when I eat this food is I wake up with my joints all swollen in my hands. My hands are really puffy and my joints are like, they feel like I got arthritis. My hips get really swollen. In the worst case scenarios, after eating bad food, my whole face would be swollen as if I was just beaten up. Number two, awful gas. And you know I'm around when I got bad gas. In high school, I used to let some gas off at the end of my classroom line and then walk up to the front hoping it'd air away. But it was so strong and stagnant and potent that the whole line simultaneously would gag for air. And it's exactly the same now. And that's the biggest cause of anxiety for me. Bad gas, especially with women. And that was like my main worry, especially during sex. I mean, a woman would run away if it was that bad. And that really put me off for a lot of years, to be fair. Number three, getting bloated. I mean, it's a real turn off for me because I want to get an aesthetic body. And as soon as I eat these heavy, rich, processed foods, especially gluten, which is harder to digest. In comparison to foods that are more digestible, like fruit, which are simple sugars, as opposed to complex carbs, the difference is just so black and white. Through the whole of my high school, my sixth form, less so during uni because I didn't really eat bread then, but I used to get food comas. I'd eat the food and I'd have to take a nap. Mr. White, deputy head who used to teach me during chemistry, he just thought I was a troublemaker that would just stay up at night and sleep during school. But seriously, I was really ill, especially in sixth form as well. Half of my breaks throughout the year were just me sleeping with my head down. But it wasn't me trying to just sleep because I was staying up at night. It was because the reaction of the food was something I couldn't handle. Looking back, that was so many years not fulfilled like they should have been. I could have done so much more if I had energy. I mean, I can see why raw vegans like can sleep so few hours and are full of vitality and energy and are so proud and really want to preach this because it's true. And actually following my one week binge, 
couple weeks since my last blood results, my hemoglobin, which was 150, has gone to 110. So I've lost a third of my hemoglobin in my blood. No wonder, like, all the reactions from the poor digestion in my gut is causing excess bleeding, which is causing me to be even more tired. I used to get blood infusions and iron infusions very regularly for at least a couple years. It's a vicious cycle, but when you're at work or trying to be productive, it's probably the worst thing you can dream of is eating this stuff. Number five, but this really showed me, despite being so much fitter, this lifestyle is not going to be a quick fix and then you can go back to eating shit. It's got to be a way of life because in only a couple of weeks, my hemoglobin dropped so much and I feel crap still. Thankfully, my chiseled body I've worked on for eight, nine months now won't just disappear in a, in a week. It'll take a bit more than that. I'm still working out, you see, but the feeling of energy and vitality, you know, I need to keep working on that every day if I want that feeling to be sustained. And this has reminded me why I really want to move out during winter from the Northern Hemisphere. Because my 20s are a part of my life. I don't want to be making excuses for myself, blaming my health. Thanks guys for watching. If you like the video, please do stick a thumbs up. Please comment down below. That's really fantastic when we can get a bit of a convo. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you guys. Peace out.